Hey, what's going on YouTube? Posting another video here on the BMW E30 build. Wanna give you guys a little bit of an update on what I've been doing most recently. All right, so with the build, the idea is to refresh as much as we can, replace whatever makes sense to replace, and uh, got the engine back in, um, starting to kind of get the wiring set up. Not gonna plug it in yet, but just getting everything laid out. What I'm working on currently is the steering column. So on this E30, what we have is a Z3 swap on the uh, steering rack. It's supposed to help with uh, kind of decreasing the lock to lock from left to right. And uh, obviously it works. So this is the Z3 steering rack that we have in here. And for the column, what I decided to do because this was a pain in the butt trying to get back in here. So this steering column has been um, updated to allow for the connection between the steering column in the car and then the Z3 steering rack. So in order to do that, you know, this is the portion of it that would connect to the Z3. You can get this kit pretty much anywhere. I got um, a replacement from Garagistic that would allow me to combine the two together. Um, the car actually came with this, even though I bought a new piece that I haven't installed, but it doesn't matter too much now because I've decided to not put this back in the car. It was just a pain in the butt trying to get that in. So what we decided to do is switch things up a little bit. And let me show you what we've just placed in there. So here's what we've done. We've installed this from Siki. Um, way easier to get in. Uh, I just did it from underneath the car. Put one side in first. Then I put the connector in between, got the top piece in. It went in like a dream compared to my struggle with the, I guess you can say the original unit that I was going to use, but save some space for those of you that might be doing an engine swap. Um, in my case, I'm not doing a swap. I'm keeping the M20. Want to keep it as original as possible, but at the same token, just do some mild enhancements. So once the car is up and running, I'll be able to post a review as far as how this feels. But hey, it was really easy to get in. Um, I had to remove the brake booster, unfortunately, just to give me a little bit more space. But I'll be able to throw that back in there when it's all said and done. But um, much easier of a job. Uh, the part came pretty quick from Seeky. Little under $300. Looks good, it looks good. Occupies a yeah, little bit less space, but uh, yeah, just wanna give you guys an update on that and we'll continue the journey.